replace the belt on the CF120 pump, uh, there's only a certain number of tools that are required. The 3 quarter inch box end wrench, 9 16 box end wrench, 7 16 box end wrench, and a belt tension adjustment tool and the replacement belt. The first thing you have to do is remove the pump from the motor. The easiest thing to do is to back off the touch nut. This nut uh, is uh, used on the shaft of the bolt to pull the pump. It adjusts the tension in and out, or tighter or looser. Then remove the bolt. Set that to the side. I have four bolts located here. These are 9 16 bolts. Remove all four bolts. Once the four bolts are removed from the pump housing, then the pump can be removed from the motor. Set it aside. We have four bolts here for the inspection cover. These need to be removed. Once the inspection cover is removed, you need to snake the old broken belt out of the pump, then replace it with the new belt. New belt gets fed in like so, and pull the belt so the belt lays in all the teeth of the main drive gear. Pinch it so you create a loop in the belt, and with the pump, slide the gear into the loop of the belt and back into the speed increaser housing. At that time, Use the belt adjustment bolt, slide it into the hole, start it onto the intermediate housing. There's a threaded hole at the end of the pump. Once that's started, drive the bolt all the way down until the bolt bottoms out on the threads. It does not have to be excessively tight, just good and snug. Make sure that the adjustment nut or belt adjustment nut is to the head of the bolt. Then take the four 9 16 bolts that you removed earlier, slide those back into the hole, tighten up all four bolts on the intermediate housing to the speed increaser. So as the lock washer just becomes Do not crush the lock washer at this time. Make sure all bolts are tightened down to that point. That allows the pump to slide back and forth in the slots. Once you have all four bolts down to the lock washer position, make sure the engine is in the off position. Then cycle the motor over several revolutions. That allows the belt to track properly and line up with the driven and the driving belt. At that point, start adjusting the nut down the belt tension bolt. That will pull pump away from the main drive pulley. Check the belt tension to get a fairly tight spring to the belt. At this point, you use the belt adjustment tool. What we want to do is we want to set the spring pressure at nine pounds of force. Then we put that into the inspection hole on the motor. Then we drive the O-ring down till it's approximately one eighth of an inch above the housing. And you want to adjust the belt so as when you apply nine pounds of force, the O-ring moves one eighth of an inch, or it moves one eighth of an inch until it touches the O-ring touches the housing. When you have achieved that, then tighten down the four bolts that are on the intermediate housing, good and snug. Then reattach the inspection cover over pump belt housing.